to. Myself being Breaky CPK, of course, and this series I'm actually going to be joined by the greatness himself, some have said. Others not so much, but Black, the player known as Black, not going to be a caster here today. How are you doing, man? I'm doing quite all right. As you said, the greatness is overflowing with me today. And <laughs> so humble. Oh, so yeah. humble you are. I'm ready to cast. I, you're ready to cast. I'm, I'm ready. ready to cast. We, so we, we actually, obviously this is the second series here of today. Uh, we just got finished casting, I do air quotes here, casting uh, Secret versus LGD. Um, obviously we were having some technical issues here. We didn't get the first game. We we jumped into the second game at least. So it was fun to do, but ultimately, you know, ended up in a tie. But now we get a cast from the beginning. So I'm excited for this. This being, by the way, Newbie versus Kingwin. Black, you're suggesting you think Kingwin could possibly do something here. I really think Kingwin is a bit underrated yeah. right now because whenever they play European qualifiers, if they don't win, they usually get second or third place. So they're pretty consistent in their like abilities. And I don't know. I think Newbie actually is at a disadvantage here because they are definitely supposed to win, right? And yeah. Team King is like the really big underdog. So they'll be going out 100% from the start and Nubi might kind of just like want to test the waters a bit. Mm -hmm. So I think a draw is very, very possible here. I don't think King Win will win 2-0, but yeah. I think a draw is very, very possible. Yeah, you said something different in the hallway right yeah. there. You're like, oh yeah, King has got this easy 2-0. No. Okay, well maybe it wasn't that, but yeah. no, no, I'm with you though. I, I think I think King Win's definitely a team that could at least take a game and, and make it a split series here. If you had to do like a prediction, but because uh, you're right, I mean, Kingwin in a in a in an overall, I don't want to say weak European region, but it's you know you got your secret, you got your liquid, uh, especially of course. After that, it's it's a little unknown, it's a little rocky. Yeah. I guess Kingwin would kind of even be that third team right now. Yeah, in okay. Europe, so yeah, but Kingwin or maybe uh, Hellraiser is uh, pretty good too. Yeah, yeah, so they are up there. Seeing yeah. Winter Wyvern first pick again, even though you got nerfed a bit. <sighs> yeah, Winter Wyvern coming. I, you know, I got their stats right here. I was actually double checking. Okay, they have played Winter Wyvern a couple times. They're they're one and two with Winter Wyvern recently. So, first pick material though, you think is it a solid first pick choice? Now, Winter is very very solid at ganking as well as saving your carry mid game or like not even not only your carry, pretty much any hero mid yeah. late game and early game. It's very, very easy to secure your lane as mm -hmm. well. Like the safe lane is pretty much secured when you have a Winter Wyvern there. Night Stalker, however, is a pretty good response because. The best way to deal with the Winter Wyvern is to rush him down. If you yeah. get a silence on him and you kill him before he does anything, obviously he won't have a big impact. And Night Stalker is one of the best because he can kind of like fly in from behind. Because Winter Wyvern has a huge range on all his abilities. Mm -hmm. But Night Stalker is one of the heroes that can actually get close to him. <coughs> kind of close that gap right there. So, yeah, Winter Wyvern, especially with that Arctic Burr, you know, flying in the air, getting those long range auto attacks. But yeah, get a hero like Night Stalker that could get in there. So maybe a little bit of a response, but also just a, a, a four position hero that's, you know, up there on the right. tier list. Right. Pretty, pretty popular one. What, what a lot of people actually don't know when Winter uses his first spell, even though he uses Darkness, you still get the increased vision. So it's actually not bad against Night Stalker oh. as well. Oh. Hmm. Because you get like what 500 bonus night vision, I think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. When he uses darkness, you get that as well. That's a good point, huh? Interesting. Well, Batrider, the second pick now for newbie. By the way, they spent a lot of time right there, and you know they're already down to 139 in reserve time with a second. It's not often you see them going that deep into the reserve time with the first couple of picks. But whether it's nerves, whether it's they're still unsure what to do against Kingwin, I guess, I don't know. But or maybe they're just on their cell phone, you know, not paying attention. Yeah, That's I mean, we too. don't know, right? They're in the hotel room chilling a bit. Yeah, we don't know what they're doing. <laughs> no clue. But, but generally, Bad Rider Night Stalker is a pretty good combo to apply pressure on the off lane because Winter is a very strong. Uh, like safe laner to secure the safe lane, as I said before. Yeah. But once you use your Arctic Burn, it's actually on cooldown for 50 seconds. And during that time, NS and Bedrider can do a lot. Mm -hmm. So good for Roman in there, picking up some kills. KP, of course, a comfortable Batrider player, so right. I'm sure it's going to end up in his hands. So now if you're Kingwin, you have to think, uh, do they maybe go for the four position here, three position? We'll see. It's going to be... Uh, Doombringer. Oh. Offline, huh? Yeah, well, maybe. I mean, it might if, be position four as yeah, well. Yeah, it could. Uh, that's what I was like. It could well, be a roaming. Even but carry Doom. Although it could it, be carry it's Doom. It's not very strong against Badrider, but that yeah. hero is very open. Has a lot of possibilities. I think offlane, though, is probably. Offlane is expected, probably, yeah. yeah. Position four Doom is very, very greedy. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Newbie wants to ban all the good Badrider counters now. Weaver, Lifestealer, Juggernaut. These kind of heroes are very, very strong against the Night Stalker Badrider lane. Yeah. And they want to get rid of them Ten ASAP. remaining. Whereas, what does King Wing want to ban? Well, they ban Blood. Bloodseeker. Bloodseeker Seeker. with Bad Rider is very strong. Radiant you yeah. just rapt, uh, rupture him and you pull him and he's pretty much just dead. Mm -hmm. from that. And then I ban the Lifestealer, yeah. Very good. 
Yeah, we didn't even talk about the initial bands. Queen of Pain, Death Prophet, Beastmaster from Kingwind. You had Omni Knight, Earth Spirit, and Bounty Hunter from the side of Newbie right there. So well, a lot of position four heroes, some mid thrown in there too. I mean, um, any of those standing out to you as far as bands go? I'm a bit surprised about the Bounty. I haven't seen too much of him lately, but okay. even today on the other series as well, Bounty was picked as well. And I'm not entirely sure why people value him so highly again now. Yeah. But we'll see what comes up with that if not banned in one series. Or pick. Yeah, we do apologize, guys. I know, you know, we got the stream up and everything now, so which is good. It seems like you should be able to hear us at least from what I'm looking at here. Um, currently don't have in-game audio, so <laughs> hoping that, that we can get that figured out here as well. But uh, uh, for now, you know, we got a visual. That's what that's what really matters here. So that, that, that fourth or, I guess, fifth band now coming out from King when it's again. Yeah, that, well, while, we're, while, while I just mentioned that, the three initial bands now going from two to three, do, do you like that? Do you think that's healthy for the, the game? I think it's very necessary, especially after a big patch like that. Yeah. Because otherwise it's just going to be too many new things, too many new heroes at once. And I think... They might even reduce it again in the future, like after things <coughs> settle down a bit. Okay. But I think for now it's definitely the best decision. Phoenix into a pretty quick Nyx Assassin. Okay, Nyx Assassin is a hard counter to Phoenix and Bad Rider as yep. well, of course. So, True. But that leaves the question whether Nyx is position 3 or Doom. But I guess okay. we'll see after the fourth pick. But yeah, Phoenix is quite good against Doom as well as Winter because their attack speed is really, really low. Mm -hmm. And the uh, teamfight prowess of Phoenix is just amazing against those two heroes. Because like, um, the, the Winter ult doesn't affect Phoenix, obviously, yep. when he's in the egg. Very true. You know, there was actually, uh, who was I talking with about this? It was, I want to say it was Capitalist. Uh, he, you know, he plays a lot of offlane himself. Um, he was, uh, I guess he was told recently, and he actually was trying it in a game yesterday. The Meteor Hammer Phoenix? The Meteor Hammer Phoenix. Yeah, yeah, I, you, I've you also know. seen it in a pop. Yeah, the whole yeah. Icarus dive where you channel yeah. it starting and it keeps on channeling. So you can really pressure towers from a safe distance, obviously. Yeah, you can. It's just, with that. it's very, very pricey. <laughs> and especially yeah. like in Nyx, you can actually just go there and stun you straight. Yeah. And then you're out of position, you just die. Yeah. And your team pretty much can't fight anymore at that point. But it's going to be support Phoenix, so he's probably going to be poorer anyways. That's true. Probably a position 5 Phoenix even. Nice to go, should be position 4. Yeah, I assume, I want to say Faith does have history playing a, a position 5 Phoenix as yeah. well quite a bit, so... Don't have that off the top of my head right here, but it seems like that's something we've seen before, most certainly. But, but the Nyx Assassin is going to be pretty scary for them. It hard counters two heroes already. Yeah. So they have to be careful they don't pick like a very int heavy hero mid lane now, because otherwise Nyx would actually counter three heroes already. Okay. Yeah, you got it. So, so no Medusa here for newbie. <laughs> that yeah. might not be the strongest yeah, Medusa pick. Medusa or Storm, these kind of heroes are a bit yeah. iffy right now. I think you want to have something like an SF. SF could be really good for... For newbie. We saw an SF in the previous series, and I gotta say, man, though those changes, you could tell the race changes. And yeah. he went, uh, it was Somnus playing it actually for LGD. He went the Yule Scepter first and BKB. Oh, and... Owned Druid. That's also a very, very good hero. Doesn't really care about Nyx and Doom at all. Yeah. It's actually one of the best heroes against Doom. It's a very strong uh, objective taker, very strong laner. Can go uh, both middle and safe lane, so we'll have to see. Uh, usually, newbie last picks their mid for SEC. Yeah. Remaining. Because he's like the guy that can really take over a game. and make the enemy pay. I think that is safe to say, and I'm kind of looking at the tier chart right here, you know, the, the, the usual ones, Puck and Queen of Pain are up there. I mean, Queen of Pain is banned, as we mentioned yeah. earlier, so, so Puck is still on the board. That's something that... Nyx is very strong against Puck, though. Okay. Because, like, you have to be scared of getting stunned pretty much every time. So Vengeful, that's probably a carry Venge. We've seen that quite a bit yeah. lately. That's, and, that's the role lately, yeah. Yeah, especially from Ineski. And it's very, very strong, both in physical and magical damage. Mm -hmm. It can save your core. And usually when you last pick like a mid, Ten like seconds. SF, usually your, your hard carry is in the mid roll if you have a Venge support. Yeah. And uh, not no support, I mean safe lane. Simply because you amplify your other cores to deal more damage. And you can also swap him out, of course, if he's ever in trouble. Then you're in the action already. Venge is great when you have, like you're kind of getting it, when you have that fifth hero that is going to be able to take over the game for you. Because yeah. Venge herself isn't one that you want to rely on. He's not, she's not your usual yeah. one position, right? Uh, Venge is very good at creating pressure around the map. Like, yeah. he's very good at taking early game towers. And then you just, like, pretty much just play four, protect one for a while. Mm -hmm. And then when that fifth hero comes online, you just stand behind with the Venge. You give him the aura. You minus armor the enemies. You can swap them out if, if there's, like, any danger at yeah. all. And then we'll have to see. Like, something like SF could be really good. But you see they banned Medusa already. Yeah. 
which would be perfect for the lineup actually. Medusa would have been the perfect pick for. for yeah, that was one that was coming to mind, and so yeah, the, it's it's understandable to see it banned by newbie there. Razor, Razor gonna be banned by Kingman. All right, and then what do they they snap pick here? Dragon Knight. That's actually a very interesting pick with Venge. I did not expect yeah. that. It's kind of like a more like an all in kind of pressure it's, push. Exactly. I think that's a good way to put it. Kind of the all in, all pressure. Very interesting to it. No, I'm with you. It's, it kind of seems like we're both sitting here like. What, is this good? But, <laughs> but to be fair, they have a Doom as well. Once okay. he gets like his auras, as well as his Vlads, yeah. they're very, very strong five man. But I think if they can't end the game early, it's going to be very tough on them. Oh yeah, already dealing with a lone druid who by all means scales very well, of course. And yeah. I'm sure, you know, we're going to see... Uh, there's uh, well, well, going to be last year. Yeah. It, it might have to be Puck because they need a space creator. Puck is not that good against Nyx, but he's... Ursa Warrior. That's Ursa like against DK different. middle then, yeah. That, that actually makes a lot of sense because okay. DK can't really lane against Ursa. Yeah. Okay, so it's kind of the matchup purpose, you think, that right. that's why yeah, they yeah, went yeah. with the Ursa there in the end. All right. And it's a lot of burst damage against all their heroes, which is, which is what they needed as well. Mm -hmm. And of course, after Blink, he can make a lot of space for the Lone Druid to finish his Radiance. And it, yeah, th too. so that's what I was thinking as well. Maybe it's also amongst these other things, it's as we're getting out with Kingman's lineup, they're all about this. Somewhat earlier to mid game, we want to fight as a team and just start pushing you. Where Ursa, in the hands of tri S Triple C here, he's going to be able to get involved quicker than maybe some other options yeah. that were on the board. It's definitely so. a very good pick. Yeah. And it also gives them Roshan control. Exactly. Which teams that push early generally want to get as well to make their push like less risky. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's a very balanced lineup, actually. They have pickoff, they have a lot of team fight, they have a lot of tower push with the Lone Bird. Burst damage with the Ursa. It's a pretty complete lineup. So Moogie Lone Druid, huh? I, ha I haven't seen it personally. No. I actually have never seen him play a Micro Hero. So <laughs> I'll, I'll have to see what happens there. I, I feel like I've never seen him not play Bloodseeker. Yeah, Bloodseeker. <laughs> There's a lot of Bloodseeker. He plays a lot of Bloodseeker. And it was banned as well. Yeah. Yeah. That's one of the uh, one of the reasons. Hey, no sound. That's kind of like us. I wonder if that's a, <laughs> that's a global issue or not. No. Um, give me a second here, guys. As for some reason, it keeps changing my configuration. All right, we should be good now. Okay, so the players given the go-ahead, going into game number one now. Of course, both these teams. This is their first match of the tournament. Uh, obviously, we're getting things just kicked off today. I've only had one set of series so far. Again, the match that we casted kind of here was uh, LGD versus Secret, a split series. And now we have Newbie versus Kingwin. A new best of two on Breaky CPK, joined by Black once again as a refreshment there. So, again, guys, apologize on the the no in-game audio. Um, hoping that uh, get that figured out as soon as possible here. But uh, for now, we will muster on without it. All right, Smoke, though, in the middle lane. What do you got, Night Stalker, Ursa, and Phoenix? Where do they go here? It seems like they're they're trying to figure that out. Kaka will put down a ward. And they're not too sure at themselves, huh? Yeah. Faith is now going to head towards the bottom himself. Yeah, they just want to get out of deep ward. Make sure they have vision of the lanes. Mm -hmm. So they can get the lanes set up they want. But probably it's just going to be the, the bad rider, Night Stalker off lane. And then the Phoenix plus the Lone Druid safe lane. Even though Phoenix has a lot of freedom because Lone Druid is one of the best safe lane here. So they can just leave alone. Yeah. Nyx, who's going to be on the position 4. An off lane Doom. He's definitely going to try to build into a Vlads, I think. Would be perfect for the lineup. Yeah, it seems like you're liking that. What about something like a Helm of the Dominator? I mean, I know that's not the most popular item in general, but Helm of the Dominator, is that something that... Uh... Dominator is great, but I don't think... I don't think Doom is the best hero to build it. Okay. They might want to build it on a support, but it's going to be very hard to get it on, like, a Winter Wyvern, because mm -hmm. he's position 5 this game. But it would definitely amplify their push by a lot. Yeah. It gives a lot of HP region, it gives a lot of attack speed, and of course the bonus creep with, the, with the like 1.4k health, I think it is. Yeah. And sweet. Brings more of that early game as we're getting out of here. So. Right, so, interesting. So Ursa actually took the bounty rune and foregoing like 2-3 creeps in mid lane. Huh, so Night Stalker took over the farm in the meantime. Yeah, that's something that we, we've had some interesting discussion on. Obviously they made the, the nerf to the early TP now where there's the 10 seconds longer after so you can't use it you know as quickly but um as triple c you know ultimately choosing to hold the tp scroll instead of uh looking wait, to get wait, there quicker wait, he can't use it anymore right because well, yeah. it's cooldown. Yeah. so obviously yeah yeah but i actually thought a lot of mid players would just forfeit the rune and give it to the offlaner instead now okay because seeing nice like a middle actually gives a lot of free space to their safe lane mm -hmm. so i don't particularly like it but 
to poach it. It's one of those things that it seems like players are just still so comforted in yeah. that that idea. But yeah, well, when you really kind of break it down, you, you, you figure it out. It's like, is that really worth it? Meanwhile, middle lane, man, S Triple C taking a lot of damage right there. There's that Winter Wyvern with the Arctic Burden even throwing out the Splinter Blast. Wyvern is a pretty good lane partner. Yeah. I really think the only reason they can pressure him that much, though, is because Night Stalker actually didn't show up bottom. So Winter Wyvern knew he doesn't have to be bottom. Okay. Because the two heroes can handle the lane just fine. Oh, my Kesor here. He's dealing with Faith. Kind of having a skirmish in the jungle. Of course, it is daytime, so he's not as scared of the Night Stalker. But apparently, he's not going to be winning this battle. He's limping away back to the tower, and Faith ultimately kind of boxes him out. So, you know, with that logic that you're getting at Black, if you're, if you're Night Stalker here, do you maybe go to the middle lane, or are you fine with him? Bottom. I think you just dual and often you force the Winter Wyvern to go bot lane because you want to have the 1v1 matchup middle, okay. which is where Ursa will completely destroy the Dragon Knight. Yeah. Ooh, bottom lane, Faith, first blood potential. He went a little bit too deep now. Magic Missile comes out, Exotic Deer coming in to try to get the last hit. Kaser actually picks it up, but still, they get the first blood. That's what matters. So, so much for Night Stalker being uh, heavily involved at the bottom lane. Why don't they start for Kingwin right here? That's what makes Winter so damn strong. It's like a 22 movement speed slow for 5 seconds. Mm -hmm. Made sure that the other heroes can get in reach for Impale as well as the Magic Missile. Now the DD Dragon Knight. Man, SCC is having a lot of problems in the middle with the Winter Wyvern. They yeah. need to make sure that he's actually bound to the bot lane. Because otherwise this Ursa... If Ursa has a bad lane against the DK, as soon as DK reaches level 6, the Ursa will actually have a very, very hard time to sustain okay. the lane. And then you can actually pressure the Ursa's tower as well. Yeah. Because usually Ursa gets like one or two levels advantage, and that's when DK is really scared. But if you have that one or two levels advantage, then of course you're going to completely destroy the lane. Because suddenly you have to level 6 DK with a 20 damage per second spell. Or not spell, but like <laughs> auto attack. Yeah. That you can reapply on the Ursa like infinitely. Whenever he, he shows up, you just do it. And he's another one of these heroes, as we see him building it right here, that really benefited from the Soul Ring change as yeah. well. Like, cause so good on this hero. Soul Ring as well as Magic Wand, actually. Okay. Because you, usually what people do... Wait, did he opt to do that? No, he went Boots first. Usually people go Soul Ring and Magic Wand before Boots even, because they can't get booted out of the lane. They just skill Fire Breath and just keep spamming them. Yeah. And that's how you win your lane, pretty much. Well, again, that's coming up pretty quickly right here. And on, on that, uh, kind of keeping on the Dragonite discussion uh, just a little, little bit longer, but so Soul Ring early on. Is there kind of a natural transition that you like to see with items? Uh, you know, the Armlet build or the Shadow Blade or whatever, or well, something that comes to mind? There's usually two builds. Either you go for Blink Dagger first right after, which is uh, giving you more pickup potential, yeah. or you go into the Armlet Shadow Blade build, which makes you more of a like, physical carry kind of hero, which most of the people do okay. nowadays. Bottom and line. then you need to get like a BKB in there as well at some point. Ooh, Magic Missile, jump in, Impel on, a couple of heroes as well. KP's in some trouble. The Spike Gear Face, you talked about that. Nyx Assassin, great against him for that reason right there. And the auto attack's enough to finish him off. Faith, he could not do much more. Again, still 30 seconds before even nighttime. So Faith needs to be careful himself. Yeah, Magic Missile coming out. Elisa putting in the auto attacks. k is trying to find the angle. This misses the Impel. And now Exotic Deer might be in some trouble. So a lot of back and forth, Kaysor. Nice block, though just in case to keep his teammate alive. So Faith will stay alive, be intimidating, but good kill on a KP initially, but we're not even done just yet. Kaysor now, he's trying to run once again. Flame Break pushback. He's definitely dead here. Just a matter of getting the final hit, and Faith will pick it up in nighttime. It's approaching quickly now, Black. Yep, I, I mean, you can see. They killed the Bad Rider, which at first glance is very good, but they actually burned through all of their region, and two of the heroes had below half health. Mm -hmm. So that kill was actually not that like, beneficial to them. Because now they kind of lost the lane, and Night Stalker has a very, very good game right now. And it just turned nighttime as well. It's something else we can't forget as well, uh, on top of that is Moogie free farming the top lane, essentially. Right, yeah, Doom cannot do anything against Lone no. Druid. As I said before, Lone Druid is one of the best heroes against Doom in the entire game. If you guys are in Tangle top lane, you might just Oh, he got a first hit in Tangle! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he planned that, let's be honest. Yeah. He's just a good Lone Druid player. I mean, you can plan it. Do you just auto attack the creep for five <laughs> times? If you don't get it, the chance to get an Entangle is actually very, very high. Okay. Maybe. If he did it that way, I didn't quite see. Uh, may maybe that that's possible, but uh, you know, right there, obviously that. And nonetheless, I'm sure Doom frustrated. But yeah, man, look at that, Matt. You were not wrong. Nine and one Doom versus a 29 and 14 Lone and the kill. And, and now you can see Midland as well. Now that they forced the Winter to be bottom more, actually he has like a one level advantage already on the DK. It would have been even more if the Winter wasn't able to help mid out okay. early on. Bottom exotic deer flame break push back. Obviously doesn't stop the TP. He'll be fine. Kaysor, can he actually escape though? It is nighttime again. Void, level two. Yep, that's gonna slow him. There's that spike carapace, the initial stun, but KP doesn't really care. Well, Phoenix actually also rotated. 
Okay, gets an assist. Yeah. But this is gonna be a lot of pressure now. They can't deal with this Night Stalker right now. Oh, they're, they're actually... No. <coughs> Where's the lone druid? Oh, he's diving he's top. Diving top. top. <laughs> yeah, look at the mini map. All of a sudden, he's in between two towers. Meanwhile, going back here, though, to the jungle. Faith, he's running after Elisa. You got Nisha nearby, but what can he really do? I guess he has the breath, but actually, Elisa flies over the edge. Back to the lone druid. Mogi's in trouble. This would be a big kill for King Wind, but... Oh, they cannot get it. He's way too fast. Mm. 425 movement speed. God, he is, isn't he? I was wow. just gonna shrine up, and basically they... Wait, Exotic Deer also TP top. It's like, it's like an over-rotation for sure. Yeah. They basically give up bot lane, but they can't even pressure top lane, so I'm not sure what they're trying to do with that rotation. This is awkward because it goes back to Kingwin's lineup where, if anything, they're the team that should have the early advantage, it feels like, right? Like, maybe not for winning lanes necessarily, but again, getting these objectives, but now it's a 3-2 to two start. They, they need to come out of lanes okay in order to yeah. even be able to push. But right now, they're like 3k gold behind in 6 minutes. It's, it's very, very bad for them right now. Faith, he's hunting again. Nisha, he'll be fine, but... He's just putting on the pressure a bit. See, hello. Erisa got a DD, Ooh. bottled up. And Nisha didn't skill stun yet, but he still got one skill point three, so he might be able to skill that. Uh, oh yeah, three oh one. That is interesting. Yeah. <laughs> it's level five though, yeah. so you're right. Usually people go two zero two, and then yeah. they keep the stun for level five. Mm -hmm. But he's not opting to skill up yet. Yeah, that's actually a good point because obviously that means you know a little less regen, a little less armor on top of that. He's passing up, but has more dragon flame, more farm potential, I guess. But you know, it's really awkward for the Venge right now. It's a carry Venge, but he can't lane bottom and he cannot lane top. And he doesn't want to go middle either. So, like, what do you actually do as Venge? Yeah. He's currently jungling, but it's not really doing anything for him. Maybe coming to the bottom lane again, TP. He's going to try for it, Patos. They were going on to him, but yeah, he ports in and it's like, all right, Kaka falls back. Yeah. He actually cannot do anything on the map. It's a terrible position to be in as Venge right now. The Dragon at level 5. There's a seven and a half. Should he be just like, I, I know he's technically that one position, but he's, you're saying he really can't do anything. Maybe should he just be like roaming, almost playing like a four position, just trying to get kills? Because I mean, he can do that. If but. you have a game like this, what you need to do as Venge, in my opinion, is you need to grab your Nyx, maybe even your Winter as well, and you actually just do like a three-man rotation on mid lane. Okay. But that's also pretty difficult because the DK is only level five. He doesn't even have Dragon Form yet. Uh-oh. Top lane. Nyx Assassin, Kaysor. He's, yeah, he's fine. Him, but I got the top tower. Frees up the map a lot for them. Mm -hmm. he's, he's actually opting to go for the Maelstrom build, not the Radiance. Yeah. I, I, I usually Might like... because of the Nyx, but... Okay, yeah. But it's a bit awkward, honestly. But well, most people always go Radiance because it's such a great team fighting item. This means he's going the range build, though, right? Like, he doesn't do this yeah, and so then still go the bear build. range build, yeah. So that I usually like to bring that up when I go for Lone Druid, so it kind of seems like we, we know what he's doing now, but I guess, do you agree? Is it maybe that Radiance against Nyx Assassin? It could be that, right? I mean, It could be that. I mean, it's not bad. Like, the range Lone Druid is still very strong. Mm -hmm. It's just... It gives them a lot less teamfight, I think. Because Radiance against the lineup of that is very, very strong. Especially now that the bear got buffed. Like, they gave him extra health. Yeah. And even more region, the patch before that. But yeah. I mean, it's not a bad choice at all. Mm -hmm. Just a different choice. It is a little bit different. Definitely the bear build has been more of the go-to as of late. So we see better at take over the jungle right now. And then Knight took a move to the bot lane to give him the level 6. But you see, Venge is still very scary. Just, he just got level 6. And he's still continuing to jungle. They actually need to use this Venge in the smoke right now and mm -hmm. get a swap kill. They need to do something to free up the map. They have 4k gold behind. Whereas they need, actually need to be ahead. Yeah. To actually get anything done. They need to do something right now. And that uh, fixes it here for the time being. Moogie's still farming up. 700 gold for Maelstrom. It's going to be okay. very, very quick. All right, yeah, we should be good now. But yeah, Ursa doesn't look like he's able to make the most use of that double damage room we had in him earlier. But again, that is one of the great things about an Ursa. As a, he's in the area now. I mean, Roshan definitely a possible uh, attempt here for S Triple C. Is there not maybe like the Mask of Madness before he wants to try it here? Or? Yeah, he's going Mask of Madness before Blinker. It's a Morbid Mask pick up. But for as far as going for Roshan, does he want to get the full Mask of Madness or? Well, they can technically do Roshan already, but okay. it's pretty risky. Like they want to have Darkness at least to be able to get the vision and be able to jump on them. I'm actually really surprised. Look at the DK network, 4.4k, but he's only seven and a half. Bottom lane, by the way. Batrider, lasso initiation on a vengeful spirit. The cold embrace not going to save him in the end. 
goes. And he goes in deep, but leaving that illusion behind, of course, uncontrollable, running after KP. Not enough, though. KP picks up the blink dagger and blinks away right after. So, yeah, KP going the only blink dagger. I, I do feel like we've seen a lot of the drums build lately. Yeah, but drums into blink, yeah. But, you know, they have to always communicate about it. You see SCC going for a Mask of Madness. That means you need one tempo item at least. Okay. Which is the blink dagger on the bad rider. I think if SCC chose to go blink first, then he would have gone for the drums. But you always need one initiation tool to be able to make the enemies like fear you. Because mm -hmm. otherwise there's no pressure on the map, right? Well, speaking of pressure, middle lane, a lot of pressure coming out. Okay, so Lanzi and Pill and Rage is up from Ursa. Running after, of course, the Spike Kira is going to stun him against. The Rage wearing off now, but he's still going after Kaysor. The Cold Embrace, once again, not enough to save the day. Exotic here after the side. The Sunray Bird is real. Trying to save his teammate Batrider, not enough. So two for one here in the middle lane. Kaka, he's still in some trouble. At least up putting in the Arctic Burn auto attacks for the range. Cannot finish the job, though. Doom activated on to Night Stalker down here, though. And Doom will pick up the kill onto him. So really the big picture, that was a two for two. They lost Vengeful, but... Yeah, top it's maybe not down. bad. Oh my There's god, yeah. so much free space for Dyer right now. They can pretty much do whatever they want. Yeah, sure, a 2-2 two, two, two trade is not bad when you're that far behind. Wait, I should even have to die. Yeah, Phoenix just took him out with a Sunray. Oh. He just Sunrayed him to death? Yeah, he just literally Sunrayed him to death. Right. But a 2-2 two, two trade, as I said, is not very bad. Well, technically 3-2 now. Yeah. yeah. But that tier 2 tower top is really, really important. Especially when you play against a Night Stalker, you're going to be so scared now once it actually hits night time again. Speaking of tempo, Dragonite, he does go the yeah. drums. Yeah, Ursa just smoked up solo. He wants to go for Roshan. Okay. It's a bit risky, honestly. They don't, know, they don't have Darkness. Well, it just turned nighttime, but Darkness is still a huge vision advantage. Mm -hmm. I actually wonder whether they will check for the Roshan. Oh. Well, it, does, it doesn't look like it. Doom literally just checked. He wasn't there, so the timing was just a little bit off, yeah, unfortunately. I, now, now they scout the laundry in the jungle. I don't think they will suspect this Roshan at all. Kaysor. Yeah, he's the one on top of the Lone Druid, so yeah, has no clue as you mentioned. You can see Daya even scan to see whether there's a Nyx around or not. Mm -hmm. But just as they scanned, he also left, so... If we roll for them... And that's an Aegis. Pick up already, so... Now now that he has the Aegis, I mean, if you're old... I was gonna say, do you run at them, and right away they're gonna run at them. Winter Wyvern, lassoed. Initiation, there's that Sunray Bird once again, and S Triple C even gives him a hug at the last second. So this is definitely Tier 1 mid. Uh, possibly more, right? I mean, if you're newbie with the 80s, you just keep going here. Yeah, they just want to keep going. I, I think at this point, when you're dead far ahead, Radiant actually can't really fight you anymore. You just run them over. Yeah. And that's what they're doing right now. Goes back to the draft of King when It was not not very risky, but it was a we needed to have a decent start, as we keep su suggesting. And so, so they're actually not going to up to pressure the second tower. They want to get the Tier 1 bottom instead, which has 150 health left only. Well, you've been, uh, I'm sure uh, you've played many games yourself, Black. You've been in positions like this uh, on, uh, on the losing side. If you're, if you're a part of Kingwin here, what, what's, the, what's the motivation you give your team? Or what's the positives that you suggest in trying to move forward in game number one and have still comeback potential? Well, the positives are very hard to find right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, well. so, so what do you want to do when you're behind, right? You want to trade. Yeah. But right now they can't trade faster because the lone druid is actually just going to destroy your towers faster than you can, even with the DK invention in your own team. But you still have to trade, and I think you just have to wait for high ground, maybe get some swap initiation going. As you just lost the, the Aegis on the Ursa. Yeah. Well, may maybe wait for this. Maybe wait for Ursa to go a little bit too deep. All oh, the eggs coming out from Phoenix, though. Doom activated on Ursa. It doesn't even really care. The bird from the egg is real. Nisha's going to fall, as does the Vengeful. They do kill Phoenix, actually, but a two for one. Very in favor of Newbie, and it's possibly more. Doom, he's silenced up in the back lines, and he will end up falling from that. KP's trying to run down Kaysor now. Hits the flame break to push back, but Faith, oh yeah, he's diving in for this. You better expect it. The Void comes out to finish off. Well played, it says Newbie. They're obviously feeling really good, as they should be, and Moogie he's just going to beat down that tier 2. Yep. And there, you just saw it. Like, the Phoenix Egg, they all committed to hit it while they were affected by the second spell, and the Phoenix actually pretty much just won in the team fight single-handedly. Yep. Right on top. That was beautiful. Oh, Lisa, what are you doing top lane? I guess he's trying to split push, but that's going to be the fall of him. Yep. Uh, curse TP. He's up there. Okay. And well wow. played by him. Because the Ursa can't out. get close. If he gets close, he'll just hit his own teammate. Oh, true. It was well played. Well, uh, so it's a case of like, you know, it's finding the small positives if you're Kingwin, I guess. Yeah. Here's a negative. Vengeful Spirit dying. <laughs> okay, just... at this point, a lot of teams have this problem. When they're that far behind, you really can't split off anymore. But they okay. keep farming lanes, like, 
alone. They, they get like panicked and desperate, yeah. yeah. You cannot do that. If you're behind the dish, you have to stick at five. Every kill is precious right now. If you can even just get one kill, you're gonna get 1,000 gold from that. DK just finished his armlet, so his fighting power increased by a little bit. But yeah, it's it's not gonna be the like, game-changing item they need right now. They need, they need BKBs. They need to be able to hit this Phoenix egg like through the slow. I mean, Vengeful Spirit, he, he's trying to finish the Mask of Madness, but yeah. that, that'll be nice, but it's one of those, is that really going to be... <laughs> I mean, it will best. help him farm, but once they actually knock on your high ground, you're not going to do anything with that item, because yeah. it actually reduces your armor by 7, and you're going to die so fast to that Ursa. Middle lane, Lasso catches Petos here, he's going to go for the TP, yeah, that's not working though, Ursa, too much damage, finishes Which the job. Uh, going back to Vengeful, you know, personally, I've always been a fan in these core Vengeful cases, one of the weaknesses of a core Vengeful is the attack range, right? Um, Dragon Lance helps fix that as he's gonna swap in onto Exotic Deer here. The Maelstrom popped on himself. Are you kidding me? He already has that. He actually goes down though. That's a big bounty kill. 500 gold for Exotic Deer right there. But here comes the Phoenix Avel. Lisa's going for the TP out. Looks like he will be fine, but teammates falling all around him. Nyx Assassin and Ventral Spirit picked off. And the TP out from KPS. He's gonna go to the middle lane and try to defend right here. Nisha, he's trying to deal with the Bat Rider. Phoenix coming in though now too. And Nisha may end up going down himself. The armlet toggle just barely enough initially, but the Sun Ray to finish the job. And he couldn't even kill the mid tier one as it's denied. Oh boy, oh boy. It just gets better and better for newbie here, Black. At least two little positives. First is Lone Druid died, so they couldn't threaten the high ground. And second is they finally got rid of the mid tower. So they might actually be able to do like a smoke play, mm -hmm. so it's not as obvious anymore. But yeah, obviously losing four heroes there is very, very huge. Lone Druid was like, he was a bit too over eager. <laughs> like he didn't wait for his teammates enough yeah. and they pretty much just like jumped on the opportunity to kill him. It was well played by them, but they're so far behind at this point that they actually don't need the Lone Druid in the fight mm -hmm. to, to win that fight. So far ahead, I mean, I had to really do a double take there as they're killing Lone Druid. I'm like, wait, he has a Maelstrom. <laughs> We're like 16 minutes into the game. Or a Mjolnir. Right? No, that's yeah. what I meant. Yeah, he yeah. has a full Mjolnir because he used the buff on himself. So, obviously rushing into it of sorts, but man, he is just massively I mean, you, you far. You can look at the graph right now. 15k in 18 minutes. That's almost 1,000 gold advantage per minute. Yeah. And if it reaches that, it's like <laughs> it's so incredibly hard to make a combat, especially if your lineup is not made for... Like defending high ground. They, they, your lineup yeah. is meant to push their high ground, exactly. not defend your own. They, they don't have the, the anti mage, the Luna or something like that. It's like, all right, we'll sit back, you know, farm, and then just take this late game. They don't have that. Vengeful and Dragonite aren't carries that are going to be the threat there. So yeah, they, they don't even have like split push really. What they have is five man push. The DK yeah. is a five man push here. It's not a split push hero. And also, uh, we spoke about weaknesses of Venge before. And another big weakness of the hero is once you actually lose lane, you do not have any ability to flash farm as a carry. That True. means usually you want to secure your carry venge lane so she can like impact the early game especially. But this game she can completely shut down. Yeah. So he went for a mask of madness to try to catch up a bit on farm. But it's not gonna work because he can't even leave their their base. Desolator on Ursa is almost finished as well. He has the mask, the blink, Desolator soon to come. Yep. It's, you know, you're, you're trying to find any kind of positive you can for, for a team like Kingwin here in game number one, but it unfortunately continues to be a, a downward spiral, it seems like. I mean, Dragonite, he's, he's finished as the armlet. As we mentioned earlier, he's going to try to build even a Hurricane Pike at this point for the Dragon form. But, oh, what's going on up here? Kesor catches Night Stalker, swap in even. They really want Faith dead, and you know what? They'll get it, but at what cost now? In comes the Icarus Dive, the egg off to the side. Doom activated on a Bat Rider, the Winter's Curse on top of that, so maybe some overkill. And a Splinter Blast on top of him. But King Wind just simply trying to run now, but S Triple C is like, nah, let's hug. Nick's Assassin, he's dead, and he wants more. Patos, he'll at least get away before he goes down too, but uh, it's already two for one. Again, just trying to make some desperate plays here as King Wind, understandably. On the losing end, though. I mean, they have to try these kind of kills, especially because Night Stalker actually had a gem. If they managed to retrieve that gem and they get away with it, it would have been quite good for them. But um, Bad Rider got it now. Oh, so you're right. Basically, they. Yeah. It was not a favorable trade for them. And a BKB is actually finished on Bad Rider, Bad Rider too. Yep. Bad Rider is just gonna jump in out. We spoke about Nyx countering him very hard, mm -hmm. but it's not a counter anymore. The, the real counter now is the Vengeful Spirit, but you don't wanna swap. A bad rider, because then you're gonna be the one dying. Yeah. You don't want to swap him to stop the lasso. That's your job as a support bench, but not as a carry bench. Seems like a scary idea. Faith, he's 
running really fast. 459 move speed right now, being the nighttime. As a level 4 hunter in the night, of course, and taking advantage of that. You mentioned the gem currently on Bat Rider. That, that's actually mean, some Phoenix. Or, though. yeah, Phoenix getting it. Okay. Yeah. Um, getting an item like a gem, even pre 20 minutes into the game, that's just like you're, you're so far ahead. That's another item that'll just accelerate you even that much further ahead. Yeah, because ahead. the enemy literally can't have any vision yeah. where you want to fight. You secure the area, and they can't do anything about it. That's that's up there. Vision is, of course, a lot of people will tell you. I'm sure yourself would agree that's one of the most, if not the most important thing in Dota 2 in general. Yeah, that's why we see uh, Night Circle being banned out a lot, actually, early mm -hmm. phases, because he does so much with the vision. Ooh, top lane. They're wrapping around. It's going to be bad. Nyx Assassin's in the base. It's going to be a 4v5 fight. If they choose to take it. Well, just Chris Lowe and Druid. Okay, so they're trying to catch him at least. Go for the early pickoff. I Meanwhile, on the back lines, they're dealing with Dragonite. But actually, Moogie will go down. So that's a good start here for Kingwin. Will it continue? No, it won't. Dragonite, he ends up going down despite the old Dragon 4. And they're pulling on a Nyx Assassin. He mentioned he's getting there late. And Kaysor are eventually going to take down to the Urns. And so far, a two for one for Nubi and the rest of TP away on Kingwin's side. So another pick on a Moogie, but they lose a couple in the process. Yeah. But I really feel like Moogie is always like very like aggressive. Like His team is not ready yet, yeah. but he's getting caught already before they're actually in any position to help. Because every time this Lone Druid dies, they actually cannot threaten the high ground. If Lone Druid didn't die there, they might actually just go for the like, tier 3s right now and the Rex as well. Yeah. But um, Kingwin saving themselves some time again. Huh. Exotic Deer just running at Night Stalker right there. Yeah, he's, he's very, he's not scared at all. <laughs> 7k, 17k gold lead, I don't care. Ooh, who cares, yeah. Right, he jumped on the Earth, so they doomed him. They're probably going to kill him here, yeah, they should be dead. I mean, the heal for the Sun Ray is helping a little bit, but now Kaka is going to be stopped, so maybe deny him? No, nope, they did not deny him. At least they got cut up for the kill. They are going to lose Exotic Deer, though, it looks like, unless he swaps himself out, but the burn is too much. He will fall Night Stalker, however, dealing with Nisha and Kesor. Can't deal with them, he ends up falling, KP. Burning on top of Elisa, trying to take out Winter Wyvern as well in this fight, but the Winter's Curse going to be used very defensively to run away. But KP blinking in further. Moogie's back in the fight as well as he's resurrected. Not going to be able to chase them though. So some more clashing going on. It's but again, if, if you're newbie, you're fine. Even if it's even trades, like the numbers wise, it's it, it's okay. You know, Roshan's back up now. Actually, I wouldn't be surprised if they just look at that now. Coming up here. Yeah, I mean, another positive is when you're Kinguin, actually when you die, you respawn really fast because you're very low level. <laughs> and that's actually what kind of saved them here. Because the two heroes they killed, they were present in that fight, whereas Mugi was still dead and respawning. Yeah. So they actually managed to get like an even trade, which is quite good for Kinguin in the position they're in, but they won't be able to contest, uh, contest this next Roshan. That's going to be Aegis and Cheese. <coughs> and they're probably just going to try to go high ground with that. Either that, or they're going to contain them and wait for the Ursa BKB to make it 100% safe. Yeah, what's your mentality in group stage? I'm actually curious, again, with your experience. You've played many different formats. You know, I'm sure you've played a, at least a similar format to this one here. You've got your group stages. You have over two days. You're playing eight games in total. And you're, you're in a game like this. You're, you're ahead if you're newbie. Do you, do you have the mentality of, like, let's just try to finish this game because we have a long day ahead of us? Or are you playing, you know, to make sure that you just win the game? Or I think... When you're a teammate newbie, you're always playing to win. Like, yeah. you want to make it as safe as possible to win. Because, like, rushing yourself to end games is really one of the, like, biggest reasons why teams throw away games. Okay. Because they rush themselves to finish the game. And, yeah, that's, it's just unnecessary. They don't have to do it. Because today they only play four games, right? I believe so, yeah. Yeah, so it should be all right for them. Oh, Curse stopping the Bat Rider at least. Nice counter, actually. KP's dying right here, even with the BKB, but not dead enough. As he will manage to live with a slither of life. But Urza, not the same story. He goes down. He's dead for a full minute. Swap on a Moogie. If they pick up Moogie as well, this is a bit of a comeback potential for Kingwin in the time being. But Moogie sitting back. The Phoenix ain't going to explode, and they will get the kill on a Lone Druid as well. He's coming up with the Aegis, of course. Does have Night Stalker nearby. Down goes Nyx Assassin. The Mjolnir's put up. Dragonite getting low, but Nisha helps to finish off Lone Druid as he resurrects. And for the first time this game, it feels like Kingwin's winning a fight, but maybe not too long. Dragonite, he does get picked off by Faith. Exotic Deer solo, going for the finish on a KP. He's going to cost himself his own life, but he gets a double kill out of it. And now Faith, the last man alive. The Doom is up, and that might be the end of him, actually. It's going to be a wipeout in favor of Kingwin here. They lose three, but... <laughs> Even though they had ages and cheese. Yeah. This is so surprising right now. I really don't know how... Kingwin pulled that off, man. <laughs> I, I mean, it, it, 
the winter play was perfect. Yeah. Like the lasso was stopped and Bad Rider almost died immediately. And then Ursa didn't manage to use his rage and he just got bursted down. I didn't, I didn't think they could pull that off, honestly. It was like everything was perfect. No, we're sitting here talking like, you know, we're obviously as casters, we try to help fill time, if anything. And But let's be honest, we're both here like, okay, this game's probably over. It's just a matter of when it is at this point. But, I mean, King Wen, you mentioned, I mean, the Winter Wyvern curse there at the beginning clearly started that all off. And Newbie just goes back to positioning as well. Um, again, they're, they're playing to win the game. They're maybe playing safe at points. But right there, it seemed like they were a little bit on different pages as far as some of the team being up, but goes back to Moogie on the Lone Druid. He was a little bit behind. He got there late, and it just fell apart for them. So King Win, they have much reasons now to kind of stick in this game, if anything. They, they, they need to be careful. They really need to play more around this Lone Druid because so far three fights that didn't go their way. They all started off with Lone Druid either dying first mm -hmm. or not being there straight away. He had the Aegis, he's the damage dealer, together with the Ursa, of course, but he got blown up instantly. And they just need to make sure they actually five together. They yeah. couldn't split up like three. Because they started to fight three heroes, and then they just got dismantled. They really need to be careful, because this game is definitely, like, every game of Dota can be lost. You have to be really, really careful and be focused until the end. What about Lone Drew's decision, by the way, to follow up the Mjolnir right into a Lincoln Sphere, Lincoln actually? Sphere. I don't know how much I like Lincoln's. <laughs> On Lone Drew, I think yeah. BKB would be a better choice if you want to go defensively. Hmm. I guess it's, like, Doom's the big thing, right? Yeah, but you, you won't get Doom as a Lone That's true. Like, never. Oh, big fight breaking out right here. Lasso, nice swap out, though. Nisha, going to be fine as a result of that. He's in the other Dragon form, but he's being run down. He does have a BKB. BKB. He's going to turn yeah. around with it. BKB also activated by Exotic Deer, running out of Faith. Icarus dive in. The Phoenix Egg is out. They're going to try to destroy Can they in time. The Ursa beating down Exotic Deer. Phoenix will be killed off, though. And Ursa's getting low. Pops that cheese that he didn't use last time. Dragonite, he's going to be uh, stunned here, but a nice cold embrace. Healing him up to be fine. Lone Drew loses the bear, by the way. Nice sucker goes down, but S Triple C jumps back in, takes out Vengeful, and now they're going for Nisha to finish the job. Flame Break pushback. The Arma toggles have been really solid by Nisha, and oh my god, he's actually still alive, but no. KP, the burn proves to be a little bit too much. And they do get the kill, so a hell of an effort put up here by Kingwin, man. But Newbie does this time execute pretty well. And they get uh, multiple kills that buy back on Nyx Assassin. They're going to start pushing into the base now. Pretty much as good as you can ask for, for from from King of Inside. They shouldn't be able to win these fights, but they make it close every time. So they're actually doing more than they should. Yeah. It's just the way they take these engagements is really, really good. Like the team play is really, really strong. If they weren't behind this far, they actually would have crushed this team fight. That goes back to exactly. This is a team that's been together for a very long time in King Win. Um, and as uh, actually, you see Batrider, <laughs> he's going to fall right here. Yep. Doom's. I'll say this, I mean, Doom's impact with the ultimate has been huge. It seems like anyone he gets that off on just ends up just dying, obviously, Right. Yeah. in these fights. So he's, he's finding some nice targets. But yeah, going back to King Win, I mean, again, I know we're still in this game, but game number two, if the start's a little bit different, by all means, you, you could see them taking a game off a of newbie, and, you know, we'll see how they continue to do further on. But uh, point is, it's still a long event for them, just like it is for, for newbie, as we are getting at earlier. But again, this, this game one, it's... It's not over yet, as we've seen several times now. Newbie's trying to finish it, but Kingwin's refusing to let it go here. I mean, there's one good thing. The advantage doesn't build up for Newbie. They have been at 15k for a very long time. Yeah. Usually when you're containing the enemy like that, it steadily grows by like 1,000 per minute maybe. But they kept it steady for like the last 10 minutes pretty much. Yeah. I mean, the graph shows that really. It's It's been actually pretty steady here. As you pointed out, so... Which is really good for, for Kingwin, obviously. Of course, Because yeah. they're like so contained. They shouldn't even be able to go outside of the base. They should get punished every time. I don't know how, to, how <laughs> they're hanging on right now. It's, it's, it's incredibly hard, especially against the Night Stalker and Bad Rider. They have so much vision advantage over you. To still get these fights, it's an amazing effort. Yeah, that's, that's actually, speaking of vision, the gem has been picked up by Winter Wyvern. He has it now. So they stole it, yep. Yeah, so And he got Blink Digger as well at Force Death, so positioning is not going to be a problem for him anymore. It's going to be very hard to find him as the Night Stalker, or even Bad Rider as well. Yeah, I meant to bring this up earlier too. Phoenix, I mean, he's going to get some massive levels. He's level 18 now, so has a level 3 Supernova, but also has a Shiva's to go with the Yule. So this is a technically a position 5 uh, Phoenix, but again, talents help allow for that as well. Kaka leading in, by the way. Shiva's may come into play. Chris dive, and he's going to be stunned immediately, though, as he goes in too far, and he'll dive without even getting the Supernova off. So S Triple C, though, picks out the Winter Wyvern, buyback immediately. Nisha just trying to kite away, has that BKB, 
activated currently. Winter's Curse onto Urso, so Nisha will change targets. The gem was on the ground, but Nice Stalker picks it up mean, mid fight here. Nyx Assassin, Golden Embrace saving him for the time being. Doom's in an awkward spot. I'm guessing he got pushed up there, lasted up there. And he's going to end up dying because of that. That's a nice find. Or maybe not. Patos is living for the time being. Kesor throws out the impel to help him out. And oh my god, he actually got away. He's going in, baby. He wants to kill Faith. Yeah, he actually brings it's in. alive. That was a little bit of a miscommunication. <laughs> the entire team disengages and he like blinks in and wants to smack the guy. Yeah. I mean, it was close. He almost killed him. Yeah, he could have blinked away right there to live. Yeah, he could point. have. Blink, blink away and TP. But another, another fight where it's... Somehow. I mean, you just saw, right? Nyx just completely owned the Phoenix. Like, he was diving yeah. in, and we spoke about it before. You get stunned by the Nyx, you're completely out of position, and you just die. There was, like, a overextension by the, on the Phoenix part, but I'm sure he learned from that. He won't do it again. But as, as we spoke about, Nyx Assassin is, like, a very, very hard counter to Phoenix. Mm -hmm. As they're yep. technically just waiting for the next Roshan. I guess so, yeah. a shard. Oh, yeah. Which is gonna be taken. Who do you give that to? Yeah. It's either Ursa or Batrider. Double in Rage. Batrider, possibly, yeah. Double Lasso could be really strong, too. Double Nice Darkness. Tucker. He's gonna die here. That was an aggressive swap, actually, to get that kill. Gem drops on top of that. So a great find for Kingman once again. Here we go. Supernova activated by Phoenix. They're beating it down. I don't know if this one's gonna be fast enough. It's gonna be so close. No, he, he will. Uh, yeah, he will go down, actually. Ursa, though, the Doom's on him, and triple what? kill for Nisha. What is going on? Kingwin's winning these fights, man, some way, somehow. Nice Savage Roar there by Moogie to actually escape. But, oh, yeah, they're checking Roshan. If he was up and they could steal us, that would be huge right now if, for Kingwin. If Roshan spawned early, we will see it spawns in 1 minute 20 seconds. It's quite unlucky for them. But if it spawned early, like just now, that the game would actually be... This could be a turn. Yeah. Absolutely. Five, five again. I mean, and it goes back to not only the game leveling up, but you see it's down to 13,000 now. And now they can actually threaten the high ground because they were so high level, they're going to be dead for a very, very long time. Mm -hmm. So, it all started off with Nice Tucker being caught out alone, right? He got aggressively swapped in. Yeah. yeah. They have to be really careful. All the fights, they have not been starting at 5. That's Nubia true. has been very split. I don't know why. They need to realize this, and they actually need to stop it. <laughs> it's they you would hope by now that they've they've picked up on you know what this game's definitely not over uh, again they had a hell of a start and, and it's understandable if they were feeling good at the time but uh, 20 minutes later it's like wait have, we haven't actually finished this game and uh, our lead's not as big okay maybe we should start being a little scared lone druid by the way mkb is going to be his follow-up choice here i think the mkb is fine but i really don't agree with the Lincoln's at all. It didn't do anything Feels for him the entire place. game yet. Yeah. If he had a BKB instead, he wouldn't actually die in any fight. Yeah. Like if you get doomed as Lone Druid, who cares? You're yeah. doing something wrong. <laughs> what? Yeah, Lone Druid's uh, that's not his option. All, yeah. Who cares? Second. Yeah. Like. You almost want to. It's like if he's going to use it on him in a fight, that's that's good for you. But that's right? what I also was uh, speaking about earlier. If you actually go the bear build, Doom never even wants to doom you. Yeah. Because the hero doesn't do anything. Wouldn't matter. That's why I was a bit surprised he went for the range build, but. He chose it, and the, the link is like 5,000 gold for... It doesn't even give damage anymore. Just 15 agility. I don't think it's a good pickup on mm -hmm. the Lone Druid here. I and now he goes BKB as well. BKB and Lincoln's. His damage output is going to be very, very little. You can see it right now. 124 plus 34. It's like mm -hmm. nothing at this point of the game. And it, it level 25 talent, it's not even going to help with that either. I mean, he does get that spell immunity possibly. Yeah. So, oh, by the way, big fight happening right here, Shivas. But again, Phoenix gets stunned as he's going in. Yet again, an issue to him, though. Last one of him. Phoenix barely living. Gets Supernova off, actually. Winter's Curse stops, though, as Winter Wyvern trying to get away. It's going to be good for now. Doom was picked off, however. The bear, okay, not the biggest deal. It's a auto attack build on Lone Druid here. Faith, he's going to be aggressively swapped in, though. Pops the Knight with the darkness, but he's stunned up by the magic missile trying to fly over the ledge. He'll be successful with that. So far, it's Doom, but Ursa was picked off on top of this, by the way. And he does not have a buyback. Faith. Can he somehow escape? I think he's going to tick down, maybe. No, the Shrine Pop. He'll be good. Kesor trying to finish the job. Nisha going to have to be put under by the Cold Embrace, trying to keep him alive. But Lundred runs back in with the auto attacks. And the tacos again are real, but not real enough. He'll end up falling as Lundred now running at them. Going to go into the bear form himself. But the stun from Kesor finishes the job. We're down to Winter Wyvern and Nyx Assassin versus a Pat Rider. And Winter Wyvern will go down. It's now one versus one. They're probably not going to engage, though. <laughs> I don't know what to make of this game, man. This is this. Honestly, at this point, I'm almost leaning towards Kingwin having the advantage. Like this is ridiculous. Yeah, the team fights looking amazing, and uh, actually, the way Ursa died, she just got um, Winter ulted next to the 
lone druid, and the lone druid just killed the Ursa. Mm. That's what that was. Yeah, no, I saw, I saw him dead all of a sudden. I didn't even yeah. realize that. Okay. But you know, the only reason, I, I don't want to harp on it too much, but the only reason this can happen is because he doesn't have a BKB on lone druid. Lincoln doesn't do anything for you at all. They're not going to focus you. Yeah. They're going to focus Ursa every time. You actually need to be able to like, not kill your teammates. And the <laughs> only thing that I'm sure of that is a BKB. I mean, I guess, uh, to be fair, there is swap, which, like, that it is good against, these aggressive swaps, so, like, that may have been ultimately the logic, but, I, and this is even hindsight, because you were saying but, but, it from the beginning. What happens, right? Like, you get swapped in, you BKB. Like, how are they going to follow up on you? Yeah, like, that's they, true. They can winter ult you, but, well, I guess Newbie's going to get the Roshan, or they're going to refresh a shot as well. Okay. Who are they going to give it to? Yeah, they're going to think this out, but... Refresh is on a bad rider, actually, yeah, as we spoke about. Either bad or the Ursa. Double BKB bad, double Lesso bad. He does have a Lincoln Sphere, by the way, himself, which yeah. is not always good for him. But again, we, we can't forget, too, that Lincoln's are obviously you can no, put on teammates. Lincoln's is amazing for him simply because of the swap. It okay. actually makes a lot of sense on him because the only way to stop him is either Winter Curse or Swap. And both is, like, Lincoln's is amazing against both. Good stoppers there, yeah. Yeah. I, I just still can't get over, like, teamfight I understand is good, but... This is a, a vengeful spirit of Dragonite. These aren't cores that we were mentioning this earlier that are like the most threatening as the game goes on. But and you look at their items. I mean, Heaven's Halberd, Dragonite. Yeah, they, you they got didn't item us to be carried. So. <laughs> yeah, they're, this is just all about the team fight. Yeah, I mean the the team play is amazing. You can see all these stunts are getting chained together very very well, mm -hmm. and it's just I don't know. Like Nubi did a lot of mistakes where they just didn't want to fight as five. They always went in with one guy first, then he dies, and then the rest comes in. Yeah. But I think they learned their lesson. Now they have Aegis Cheese and the Refresh as a shard. It's gonna be even harder than before <laughs> to fight for King. I don't wanna say they can't do it anymore. I feel like we've said that before, Black. Yeah. I don't wanna say it anymore. So let's see what, what they can make out of it. I, I will say this it, it got down about 10, 9,000 even net worthly, but now we're back up to 14,000. So. Yeah, Newbie is kind of controlling the game once again. You'll also look at 25s coming up. I mentioned Lone Druid. Um, again, what he gets, I assume it's going to be the Battle Cry Grand Spell Immunity. That seems just stupid strong, especially since he's not going to Bear Build. Um, and then he got Bat Rider. What does he but go actually for? Actually, it's very strong if you go to Bear Build because it's from a true form. Oh, really? Right. Yeah. Wait, so no matter what, you don't get the Entangle, you think? I mean, it's not that good. I haven't played the new Lone Druid okay. like, as range yet because I just think the, the melee is way too strong. So we know. Hmm. Yeah, that's a good point, though. All right, well, we'll see what he gets. Anyways, initiation right here. Nice defensive wow, swap by yeah. Exotic Deer. And Phoenix again! The Icarus type. He figured he would learn his lesson by now, but he just simply isn't, it seems like. Kaka throws himself out them. I mean, they kill a tier 3, but obviously a hold is successful for king when man these swaps like king is just making a statement here right now against newbie that they are not to be toyed with in game number one yeah. a bit speechless <laughs> like it was the fourth time he did this yeah and he died the, the same way every time i, I don't I, yeah no <laughs> you talk about speechless I, i'm just i'm with you there black like like, like he dives in nick stuns you you're dead. It's like, it's like he's daring him over and over again. And it's one thing to kind of dare him if he hasn't been successful with that. But yeah, yeah he, I would say it's probably like, it feels like it's like five out of six times he's been successful hitting it. So it's like, why even continue to go that way? But they're going to try again without Phoenix right here, by the way. They, they, they find Nisha, so maybe that's why the Elder Dragon form is activated. Can they burst him down fast enough? It looks like possibly. I see Refresher going out right there with the uh, pickup from the Roshan kills we are mentioning earlier. But Doom's on Lone Druid, actually. And Doom is going to help get the kill on a Lone Druid. S Triple C, though, beating down Doom himself. Nice job with the save the cold embrace. The team fight is real. And now Ursa's in trouble at Half-Life. Puts the stop on the ground, but Ursa's going to fall. The Aegis, of course, popping out. KP can he somehow get out. The offensive swap right there. KP's going to go down. Ursa jumps back up after the Aegis, but the kite is real, and it's going to be another wipe in favor of Kingwood. Again, the comeback continues. What is going on? I know we've asked that so many times, but Black, if I had put money down on this game right now, Kingwood's winning this game. I mean, King they are King winning, this. winning this game. Like, you can just see Nubi's kind of crumbling. Like, again, they're, they saw that Phoenix was dead. He's their teammate. 100% yeah. sure they know he's dead, and they still want to fight 4v5 again. After it cost them so many times this game already, I don't know why. Are they tilted? Like, what is going I, I, on? They're yeah. not learning the lesson this game. I don't, <laughs> really don't know what's going on. I really, really don't know what is going on. 
This is just the first game of this tournament of the group stages, and it it, it already does seem like but that. You see the same mistakes keep happening over and over and over again. Yeah. Like, even after the first time, usually you shouldn't make the same mistake again. How about Winter Wyvern, by the way? I've had it on the hero levels right here. He was he was the first one to hit level 25. Oh, <laughs> like, <I> the, <laughs> the main support hit level 25. That's because he got a lot of solo kills with the Winter's Curse. Okay. Which gave him a lot of levels. And now his Winter Curse is... 4.75 seconds of the talent. Oh yeah, I didn't even check no, that. No, okay. Is, is it actually 6. Point no, it, it updated. So yeah, 4.75 seconds. Yeah. That's insane. Yep. And Agonim's on... Um, Nixus Here we go again. He's doing it again? Oh. Oh, but he didn't get stunned this time. I was so lucky. <laughs> that, yeah, I actually so. can't believe he did it again, man. I actually can't <laughs> believe he did it again. If he dies there, the game is actually over. He doesn't have buyback, does he? He does uh, not have buyback. He does not he have buyback. Not, you're right. How can you do that, man? The, the balls <laughs> on this guy. Those are some balls of steel right there. And it's, I don't even know if he can word it. That's just like... Dude, I'm pretty sure that Nyx was like, why are you doing it again? Yeah, it's like he was not... He's like, by now he's learned his lesson, right? Oh, uh, dang, it wasn't ready this time. But, man, King Win, they are, uh, they're, they're smoked up right now, obviously. They're, they're wrapping so around. So now, now we're going to start finding positives for newbie, huh? Yeah, now it's like, okay, <laughs> so what does newbie do now? Are they smoking up at five right now? That's five. That's good. That's a start. Now will they do the Icarus dive initiation again? We'll see. Mogi, go with your team. Batrider, by the way, flame break cooldown. Now, now a 3.4 second cooldown. That's ridiculous, actually. All right, here we go. Big fight breaking out. Faith, he's Counter in the smoke. front lines. Where do we go? Smoke is broken. KP. Phoenix oh, stunned again. No, Phoenix stunned in the back line. This time he did Icarus dive. They just find him simply. Does the Nyx assassin. He's going to get the supernova off at least it looks like with the yields on top of it. There we go. Okay, so he'll end up dying. In the back line says Triple C. Jumps on it. Elisa and Elisa will fall. The Winter's Curse was already used and not getting the most benefit of it this time. Flame break pushback. Patos, remember, that's going to be ready shortly here with that level 25 talent. Patos is going to be run down. Nisha going for the TP out. Niz successful somehow. Makes it back to base. They finish off Doom though. So this time, Newbie wins this fight, and now they're looking. You, you know, if you're Newbie, you're like, man, let's try to finish this game here, right? Like, they're, they're getting scared, desperate they're scared. now, yeah. yeah. Uh, this was actually a really well fought team fight for once by Newbie. They were five, and they initiated properly. The heroes that need to be at front were at the front, mm -hmm. the heroes that need to be at the back were at the back. And he got the supernova off, which yep. was really crucial. There we go. First racks of the game has been destroyed, that being the ranged racks. The bear taking some damage, but again, not necessarily the biggest deal. Icarus dive in. Guess what? He's stunned. He did it again. He's going to end up dying right here, but the last one initiation from Batrider going in, so maybe that was a plan. Bait them out. Case or he's dealing with us. Triple C, not too well. Of 4G he has that axe effect, obviously, helping him with the burrow, but not tanking enough. He'll go down. He's staying there for 100 seconds. By the way, buyback on a vengeful spirit. They do pick off Lundred. You'll see as Triple C getting low, but Faith lower as he ends up falling in the spirit vessel heal from the Night Stalker to keep Ursa alive. Double kill for Ursa right there. And Newbie will come out on top of this exchange. Multiple buybacks being used there. They forced out the buyback of the Winter and the Venge. Mm -hmm. they, they didn't get the Meteor X, though. That's which true. Which is a big thing. Uh, Dragon Knight got buyback. Uh, Nyx Assassin also bought back. So yeah, that was actually three Nyx buybacks. Nyx bought back and died again. Yeah. Oh, actually three buybacks then. Well, you can see the gold did again. was 3k before, now it's 13k because of the three <laughs> Jeez, buybacks. Yeah. Oh, this game. It's it, we'll see what this updates, but in full. But yeah, it's been quite the roller coaster ride here at the end, especially in the later part. Should we say the end? I mean, it's, <laughs> who knows what this game? This could be one of those back and forth slugfests now for the next hour. Uh, probably not that long. But we, we actually haven't seen the proper five v five fight yet. Top. I, I um when they fought top, it was actually Venge that was not in the team fight. So okay. this time it was King Green fighting four v five, and yeah. then they got completely obliterated. They need that Venge there right from the start. Otherwise, they can't even kill the Supernova. DK and Venge need to be able to kill the Supernova before it pops off. Otherwise, they can't win the teamfights. As we're entering this point of the game, obviously level 25 is becoming more relevant. You see the 14 Fury Swipes damage talent picked up by Ursa, so the Fury Swipes that much stronger now. <laughs> uh, Vengeful Spirit just hit 25 as well. The Magic Missile now pierces Spell Immunity, and that, that's fairly significant yeah, this really game. Strong, yes. Although yeah, the fun of magic damage is also very strong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Roshan, he is up. Bad Rider, minus 30 flame. Flame break <coughs> Yeah, that's, we saw that in the previous fight. 3.4 seconds, huh? <laughs> bomb, bomb, bomb. Just spam the bombs, man. Okay, getting another refresher shard. But again, a Bat Rider, why not? Yep. <coughs> Ages, cheese, refresher shard. Take two. It's... And that's the crazy thing, right? It's like the fact that they haven't been able to finish this game yet so far ahead. And this is, as you point out, take two with all of those resources at their hands. 
And yeah, Kingwood just keeps fighting. I, I don't care what the final result is. The, what was that? But that's that Icarus type is absurd now. No, 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 no. But um, Kaka. Kaka, is he a little bit too far up? King win. They didn't see him. Yeah, they didn't see him initially. They find Faith, though, so they're going to go okay, Night Stalker. There's a supernova in the back. Lands Faith. He gets away for now. Bat Rider Lasso. Plus Ventral Spirit on the uphill for the time being. Double refresh. Or refresh is going to be used, I should say. They do pick up Phoenix, though, and Night Stalker as well. So far, 2 nothing start in favor of King win. Nyx Assassin going down. Moogie trying to go toe-to-toe -to -toe in the midst of the fight. He's not going to win that battle. Aegis will bring it back up. Anisha standing his ground with Exotic Deer. They take out uh, the... Batrider right there, I believe. Yeah, he has a buyback, but Moogie, you can't drop it about half-life. He does have the spell immunity up, but Disarm comes out from the Heaven's Hover. Nisha, these armlet toggles, I see him so low constantly, but he manages to somehow live, and again, it's Kingwin seems to do what the, feels like the impossible. Win a fight against all of those resources. Take two, unsuccessful. <laughs> oh, Black, uh, this is I, I just something. But you saw how it started off again, right? One guy gets jumped on completely out of position. Yeah. And you just lose. It happened five, six times this game. It's, it's yeah. Like, it, so, so, is it safe to say? I mean, this is just misplays? Like, this is massive <laughs> misplays. Like, positioning. really massive. You're supposed to have the positional advantage when you have Night Stalker, not the disadvantage. <coughs> yeah. But so many times this game. It just looked like they, I don't know, they were like on completely different pages. Mm -hmm. That kind of goes back to what we were saying earlier. You know, I brought up that conversation with you as a player. You know, your experience at the group stages, especially. This is the first game of a what, longer what, what couple of days. It, right? Yeah, whether they're rushing, what's their mentality like. It did seem like that they got a little like, they were playing like they already won the game almost. Yeah, because, because they, they were split up. Around. They were fooling around a little bit. Yeah, around, for sure. That's a top tier three, by the way, Nisha. He's going to back off before they fully go on him. He went plus 40 strength, by the way. I mean, that, so he is tanky as hell. Uh, the resistance not kicking in. Ventral Spirit offensive swap on to Phoenix right here. He's, he's going to be tanky. Wow, he's living through all this initially, but he'll go down. And actually, Phoenix dead for 85 seconds. No buyback to be had. Ursus up in nine with the lone druid, yeah, but the first one to get they don't want to buy back. Yeah, the first melee rax goes in favor of Kingwin, believe it or not, at 47 and a half minutes. And again, that was that awkward spot. They were so close to resurrecting, they didn't want to buy back. Break the first time in this game, they actually have a gold lead. Well, they they got Green. it. You're right. Look oh at the graph. <laughs> we're going for a ride, boys. Is everyone going to hit 25? Uh, yeah, we're, 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 this is going to be an everyone 25 game as I mean, well. Honestly, what you said might be very true this game. They were really just rushing it. <clears throat> yeah. They, did, they didn't play properly anymore after the early game. See, but, uh, you know, from I, I also almost hate seeing that because that takes away from Kingwin. Like, no, no, Kingwin... Kingwin <laughs> Like, to even be able to fight, even if it's 4v5 at that yeah. time, it is an amazing feat. I don't want to take anything away Their from that. Their teamwork has been Their teamwork is magnificent. Yeah. It has been the reason why they get to these lands and how they get to these lands. Simply because of their team play. But Newbie, the truth be told, <coughs> they made a lot of mistakes. Yeah. That rider, by the way, this would be... He doesn't have a buyback. He's dead. 110 seconds. This, this could be the beginning of the end. I mean, this is... Pretty much game over. No buyback on Bad Rider. Phoenix, no buyback. They're gonna get. Well, they can't get Mega Creeps. So they're gonna back off. I don't know. Yeah. If oh, wow. Tier 1 bottom is still up. <laughs> That's yeah. gotta. That, 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 if anything, I think is telling of how this game has been. Yeah, they, they were contained. <laughs> yeah. They were contained for 20 minutes. That's ridiculous. And they still made it happen. <laughs> sure. Top and middle racks are dead, yet tier 1 bottom is still up. Okay, so they go I, I, kill that. I'm actually happy for Kingwin. Like, I knew that they can play really, really well. Bias caster. No, I, mean, you know, <laughs> no, I, I see what you're saying, though, 100%. I mean, it, it didn't have to look this way, but it can look this way, yeah. and it did look this way. Mm -hmm. But if the early game actually goes better, I'm a bit afraid for newbie. <laughs> yeah, no, if you're newbie, this, is be, this has got to be intimidating as heck. Like... Yeah, you dominated the laning phase, the early game into the mid game, and yet you're going to come out of the losing end. Possibly S Triple C last stand right here. He's going to be Winter's Curse and doomed. You're right. I mean, they're trying to protect him with the Lotus Orb. He's still dying though. He's just, he hasn't moved. He's a freaking sheep now. Can't purge it off, of course. Lift it in the air, and S Triple C is going to go down. Has the buyback though. Phoenix save off in the back backlash. Did go off. Doom ends up falling, and Nisha with the BKB exotic. You're going to swap him out defensively. S Triple C running in, and Pistol Blade's done. On a Winter Wyvern, but Ursa's going down quickly, and Ursa he's dead for 125 seconds now. Nisha's getting low as well. He'll end up falling. Buyback on a Doom, by the way. Dragonite has one as well if he chooses to use it. Ventral Spirit, he'll go down as well. 120 seconds. No buyback for him. So both teams losing a pretty good core with no buyback to be had. This could be a still a, a bit of a steal here, although look at the creep. Top and middle pushing in favor. They cannot pressure any lanes on Nubi right now. And 
you see the perfect stun lock on that Ursa? He, he stood he there for moved. 10 seconds. He and might as well have his hands up his keyboard. Yeah, and then, uh, I'm pretty sure he did that at one point. <laughs> okay, I'm done. What's the point? And then after the stun lock, he instantly got hexed again. He, he was just yeah. completely disabled for an eternity. Is it safe to say that El Lisa is the MVP this game so far on Winter Wyvern? Dude, his Winter is... Because <laughs> that was his scythe too, by the strong, way. But now you praised him and now he's dying. Yeah, well, that's what we call Caster's Curse. What was that, man? What do you know about what, that? What? I'm sorry. You want him to lose? <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, newbie. Yeah, Moogie's doing great this game. <laughs> you, you, I, mean, I don't know. Winter yeah. no buyback. Daedalus oh, on actually, Moogie Winter now, got by buyback. Winter got buyback. He so got it now. Yeah. Okay. He doesn't have to be scared at all. They're so damn farmed, man. He almost has as much money as a Doom. Everyone's 25, by the way. Middle lane. What's going on here, KP? BKB jumping in, but no one to be found. I guess they they found Kesor. Just a matter of catching up to him, and he's going to TP out, though. No stopper. I, again, I think Kangoon has to be really, really careful now. They don't do what Nubi did. Now, they're the ones that yeah, don't have they, to, They yeah. need to chill a bit. They need to wait until they respawn, and they need to go at 5. Don't split up against the Night Stalker at nighttime, please. We've entered that point of the game where anyone can win this game 100%. Like, this yes. is how yes. one fight can determine this game. Late game Dota, basically. Late game Dota, exactly. That is what we're at now. You see, I'm, I'm trying to go across. Okay, what, what are heroes that we haven't looked at yet? 100 agility on Nixus. That's one of those ridiculous ones. 100 agility. It gives a lot. Movement speed, <laughs> it armor. It does give a lot. Attack speed. Um, and then Vengeful, we already talked about Doom. Doom, 3% Infernal Blade damage, okay. Wait, he just used the BKB on the mini bear? Oh no, oh, it wasn't no, that's BKB, a it was the Warcry, yeah. yeah I was like, it's the Warcry. Yeah. He's like, what, BKB? It, it, actually, it actually looks like BKB, yeah, I didn't does, know that yeah. at first. Yeah. Close. And then somebody on the Dire side we haven't looked at yet, who would that be, Phoenix maybe? 3 plus Supernova hit count, okay. I actually feel like From this there. game... Yeah, 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 against Nyx, this is a, definitely the right choice. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Unless you get BKB. Alright. Nice Stalker seeing? 25. He actually went for the silence cooldown instead of the attack speed. Well, I guess it figures with the items he has. Yeah. He's had a pretty rough game after the early game. Dude, and also silencing that Winter Wyvern, not a bad idea. Um, if you can reach him. He has so many mobility items right point. now. But actually, Night Circle also picked up a Blink Dagger to be able to catch up to the Winter Wyvern. Yeah. It's actually so rare to see Night Stalker with Blink. We got the, yeah, what are we looking at? Cheese is on SCCC, by the way. He just can't use it. Every time he just bursts it and stuns. Yeah. All right, newbie, making a play here again. King win smoking up. No, not smoking up. There should be oh. smoke. Oh. We're going to see this initiation. There we go. Faith comes out, puts the silence up. BKB activated by Patos in response. Pops the Shivas. That was a bit panicky. Yeah. Can't they they have a him. pretty big window now. 50 seconds, for no BKB on Doom. They can abuse this timing. Roshan Ro 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 no. will spawn in two minutes. Oh, that's a long So they Ro can't do that. Yep. Yeah, I guess nothing will really come of it. BKB, five seconds now. Well, if you're newbie, yeah, you can only do this so uh, like because of the top and the middle yeah, lane. More so the top the lane yeah. is the big one. They have to constantly worry about being heavily pushed in. So they are going to go back up there that way. And again, Roshan, keep an eye on that time. This is, uh, is going to be the sixth Roshan, I want to say. We've had five Roshan kills, I believe. So Was it five? I, th I think we've had five because we've had, we or maybe it's two, only right? four. Yeah, it yeah, so okay, take three so next. This would be the fifth one. Yeah, this would be the fifth one. Fifth Roshan to come here. Heart on Dragonite, by the way. Oh, yeah, Moon Shards. He has a Moon Shard queued up at 5400 gold. Does anyone have Moon Shards yet? Uh, Lundred maybe? No. So, so no is it going to be Roshan take three or <laughs> is King Kingwin going to start a new career with Roshan? If you're King, well, so what do you think? If you're Kingwin here, you probably try to starve them out right up the middle in the top lane and then try to go for Roshan, or do you, you want to go for Roshan? Sure. They, yeah. they will pop it in a second. They got so much minus armor. Mm -hmm. Or they do what they're doing right now a really big smoke play. Nope, oh, jump in, Kesor. He finds Phoenix off the bat, trying to burst him down quickly. Cannot get the supernova off, and he will not. Phoenix dead for 100 seconds. Has a buyback, uses it immediately. Doom off to the side. He's going to be beat down by SCCC and Moogie. Now, Dragonite going after Moogie right there with that heart. He is so damn tanky. Phoenix comes back into the midst of fight, but he's hexed up as he tries to Icarus dive in. Again, cannot get the supernova off. The Winter's Curse on him, locking him down. Nisha's going toe to toe with the ears of the Cold Embrace, helping to keep him alive for the time being. But finally, the supernova gets off, and down goes Dragonite as well as the Vengeful Spirit. So it was a fight of attrition right Right there, and newbie somehow came out on top at the very end. Again, the buyback on a Phoenix later on in that fight. They did kill Lone Druid, but numbers looking good for newbie at the end of that fight. Yeah, without that buyback on a Phoenix, they would have lost that fight. But 
luckily he had one. And Roshan is gonna spawn in 20 seconds, so they will most likely get the next Roshan. So it's gonna be take three on that. Then we'll... They can't... Oh, they just, they're just good cash though, actually. Yep, next assassin yeah, goes yeah. down. They ran after him. He was dying too. Yep, bottom lane. Very bad. Does he have buyback? He does have buyback. I, I believe they all have buybacks at this point, right? Yeah, they all have buybacks. Doom does not, but other than that... Oh yeah, Doom bought back before, right? Yeah. And Wind Driving technically doesn't now for four minutes here, so... Yeah, but Winter's still alive, so... There's DD top and Roshan spawned. Ooh. If they check it right now, they can easily do oh, it. Oh yeah, that would They probably want to force out buybacks first, and then do Roshan after. Phoenix, uh, I guess, you know, no pings coming out, so uh, if he saw Roshan there, definitely would have pinged it, but... No, they're trying to go just cutthroat and, if anything, get buybacks out of this. They definitely want to get buybacks. The DK's one. the first one to buy out. And Nick's two. Insane. That'll be enough. But they can still get a free Roche right now, if they go right now. Oh yeah. Which they should. Look at this courier. Okay, that's actually there. I thought that was a Radiant courier for a second flying over there. Oh, the DD just expired. <laughs> well, I get in the cane rune instead. I mean, they can still kill it quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna die. It is Ursa after all. So it's gonna be refresh a shot again. As well as Ages and Cheese. They're running out of slots on course, man. Actually, they don't. Yeah, it's like... Uh, for some reason, I thought they were way more fun than they actually are. <laughs> no, when he dies so many times, that'll happen. So yeah, Aegis goes on the Ursa this time, finally. He had cheese for so many fights, but he could never get it off. Mm -hmm. So the cheese is on... I'm guessing Moogie? No, Batrider. The Phoenix needs it, for sure. He's the only one without Bybeck, I think. So Night Stalker. Wait, no. Did they leave the cheese? Uh, no, they, they gave it to Phoenix. They did give it to Phoenix. Because okay, Phoenix is the only one without Bybeck right now. There you go. And they need that Phoenix in fights. Mm -hmm. If he doesn't get Supernova, if he saw what happened, we just lose the fight. <coughs> that smoke is a bit, a bit funny. It's interesting how impactful both supports are this game because, like you just pointed out, if they don't Supernova is huge because if anything, it draws the attention of Kingwin. Yeah. In the fight, they to have him. to destroy it or they lose. Either you run, yeah. or you kill the Supernova. And as we suggested, Winter Wyvern's had a huge game as well. So here we go again. Darkness Fawn Kesor. He pops the Spice Carapace again. Guess what? Phoenix is going to be stunned in the back lines. He is dropping. It looks like he will fall before he can get the Supernova off. Refresh on a KP. Try to go for Nisha. Pulls him in. Has to be giving up. Kesor siding. Put the Spice Carapace on top of Ursa. Ursa just can't simply kill him. And they lose the Lone Druid as well. So Phoenix staying dead. Ursa finally gets an Assassin. But at what cost? Has Triple C the Aegis. Going to bring it back up. Lone Druid buyback. And Newbie's trying to fight this strong now. But Nisha, I got to say, is still looking pretty damn good in the midst of this. The Hex is up onto Ursa and Frontal Blade auto attack. And as Triple C, again, he's dying. And he will be dead for 100 seconds. He has a buyback, though. They lose Dragonite, who's dead for 108. No buyback for him as a status. Winter Wyvern on top of the cliff. I don't know if he's getting out of this one. Indeed, he is not. He's dead for 113 with no buyback. And <laughs> they just love to clash in this area, man. Yeah. Several I, fights now. Kills? Almost two kills per minute. It almost, is. This almost. is, this is the, a fun game. The biggest game. problem for Kingwin this time was... Winter was pushing a bot lane while the four of them smoked to fight. Yeah. That's why I said there's a very awkward smoke. And then suddenly started the fight at four. And that's pretty much the only reason why they lost this fight. Well, it's not really... They traded evenly. Mm -hmm. They got a buyback on the Lone Druid. But I'm pretty sure they could have won that fight if there were five there immediately. So they... I don't, I don't really know what they thought, but... <laughs> something was not thought Who of knows with this game, man? Right. <laughs> Honestly, they... I'm pretty sure they just want to kill each other. Yeah. At this point, they just want to go and duke kill. it out. Yeah. yeah. Well, Lone Druid, he's duking it out with a creeps here in the middle lane, but that was, I guess, so he's gonna have a Satanic now coming up, a Daedalus into a Satanic here, and they're going right into the base again. So going for that melee rax middle again. They still have yet to kill the melee rax here. Almost an hour into the game, and melee like rax don't mean that much it. anymore unless you get mega creeps. You okay. can have two, three, uh, two and a half lanes down. Doesn't really matter. Jump in from KP, going after Vengeful Spear pretty deep right here, so you also got to be careful about that. It's just Doom and the Vengeful Spear, though. Doom stalling them. BKB from Mugi. He'll fall back. It's the Tier 3. Resurrection's happening soon, though. Four seconds for Nyx. But they're going to lose the melee bottom, but as you suggested, maybe not the biggest deal in the world. If you're King Win here, still plenty of game. Kesar, now can they catch anybody's that question? Kesar force staffed in a couple of times. They do catch Batrider, and KP will melt away. Gem has been dropped. Faith? Same story going to be for him. He's also going to be dropping a gem on Both top gems. of that. Both do have buyback, though. Is pretty key here, obviously. Nisha, whoa, he's way over here. Oh, he's going to try to get the Lone Druid. This would be a dieback for the Lone Druid. 
if he can finish him. Gonna transport to the bear form right here. Is it tanky enough? It doesn't look like it. The Sunray heal from Kaka. Gonna say Moogie. And now Nisha in trouble. That's Triple C turning on him. Nisha, can he get away now? It's his turn to escape. It's not gonna work. He's dead for 100. Kesar is gonna end up falling most likely. Or maybe not. Patos jumps in now. Kesar goes with the burrow. He'll be fine. Doom activated onto the Ursa. Ursa now having a run. Ursa, this will be a tieback for him. No, actually, he he's still has his. That's right. 100 seconds. He has a buyback four, but <laughs> what another crazy exchange. The idea was there for Nisha, but just simply not enough damage. And that Sunray save from the Phoenix. If Londra dies there, the game is actually over. Because DK won't die, and they simply ha don't have the damage to kill the DK anymore. That was a really cute idea by the Dragon Knight. Sadly, it didn't work out. Like, this kind of stuff is like so on the edge. Yeah. It was like literally one or two more <laughs> auto attacks, and they would have won the game. Uh, but instead, he died without a buyback. How can we have so many fight, so many fights here in this game that seem to result in nothing? Frankly, <laughs> like that's like has to be like the third fight in a row where it's like back and forth clash, and we're kind of in the same spot we were before. Okay, if you're a newbie and you kill a dragon right there, they probably know he doesn't have buyback, but it's gonna be fight. Okay, so we're going on Moogie. Here we go. Again, they're trying to pick him off without the buyback. Winter's Curse coming at us. Well, Moogie's dropping because of this KP even assisting because of the curse. And yep, Lundra is dead for two minutes now. No buyback. KP going to pull Vengeful with him, just trying to live as long as possible. But Bat Rider healing up falling. No buyback for him as well. So a couple of key picks. You just got finished mentioning the, the kill on Lundra would have been big before. Is this it? Is this King going to try to finish the game right here, right now? Dragon Knight got Boots of Travel. And they don't have any lane pressures coming in. Uh, actually, bot lane's coming in a bit. I think they might just go for the throne, actually. Ursa still got buyback, but they can't, they can't fight a 3 or 5. It's impossible. Yeah. yeah there see, you go. They, they draw the line as well. Just yeah. go for no, the throne. No, you, you just go. Yeah. Tier 4, here we come. Winter's Curse up in 40. He has a Scythe, though, of course, and everything Man, else. King going to win this game. It, it seems like it's very possible, Black, but <laughs> with this game, let, let's never say... Yeah, let's never be 100%. In fact, Elisa, he gets jumped right here. Nice swap from Exotic Deer, saving him just barely the Ghost Scepter. Patos comes in with a refresher shard, puts a Doom onto the Nice Shark. That's an orb, by the way. They do find the kill with Driver, but he buys back anyways. They lose the Ursa, no buyback. They're going for Tier 4, and GG has been called by Newbie. Kingwin takes game number one over Newbie. <laughs> Who would have thought? They were down upwards of nearly 20,000 early on in this game. 15,000 plus for so long, yet they somehow managed to win. Speechless. Yeah, I mean, well played by Kingwin, honestly. Yeah. As I said before, Nubi did make a lot of mistakes, but Kingwin took advantage of every single one of them. And to even stick around that, I don't know, man. It was just, games like these are so hard. You play against the best.